Hi, my name is Brendan Jenkins and I'm head of the Cancer and Immune Signal Laboratory at the Hudson Institute of Medical Research in Melbourne, Australia. And I'm Ruby Dawson and I'm a postdoctoral researcher in the Jenkins Lab. And it's a pleasure to share with you our latest paper published in GUT. So a key focus of our study was the role of innate immune pattern recognition receptors in cancer. So these pattern recognition receptors were originally identified as being crucial for recognizing both microbial and also host-derived ligands and then triggering the subsequent inflammatory response. But we and others have shown that these pattern recognition receptors can also play an important role in driving oncogenic responses. Now this slide really just highlights the complexity by which pattern recognition receptors can regulate a vast array of cellular processes that either can inhibit or promote tumour formation. So our study focused on gastric cancer, which remains the third most common cancer worldwide. And there certainly is a lot of evidence suggesting a role for innate immunity in gastric cancer. For example, the tumour microenvironment of patient tumours is enriched in innate immune cells, as well as elevated levels of pro-inflammatory cytokines. And interestingly, deregulated expression of innate immune receptors has also been shown. For example, TLR2, TLR9, and as we show in our current study, AIM2. Now, despite this, immunotherapy in advanced gastric cancer has really relied on antibody-mediated immune checkpoint inhibitors. But unfortunately, these have only provided marginal clinical benefits. So there really is a need still to identify new regulators of innate immunity as molecular targets for immune-based therapies in gastric cancer. We found that AIM2 was significantly upregulated at the RNA level in tumours and adjacent tissue compared with normal gastric biopsies. Increase in AIM2 at the protein level was also evident, shown by this immunostaining where AIM2 upregulation can be seen localised to the gastric epithelium. High AIM2 expression also correlated with poor patient prognosis, as shown by this five-year survival graph. We observed that AIM2 expression correlated with STAT3 target gene expression, so using STAT3 knockdown cells, we discovered that AIM2 appeared to be directly regulated by STAT3. This was further supported by immunoprecipitation showing the interaction of STAT3 on the AIM2 promoter. AIM2 expression was also elevated in tumour tissue of our FF mouse model of intestinal type gastric cancer, and when we knocked out AIM2 in these mice, gastric tumour burden significantly decreased. This is evident in these photos and H&E stomach sections at 10 weeks of age and more pronounced at 30 weeks of age. Furthermore, xenografts of human gastric cancer cells overexpressing AIM2 grew larger than empty vector controls. As AIM2 is most well known as an inflammasome associated pattern recognition receptor, we first looked for a difference in inflammasome activity in our mouse model. Interestingly, we found no difference in levels of inflammasome related cytokines IL-1 beta and IL-18 in AIM2 knockout mice as measured by ELISA and Western blot. Similarly, there was no difference in levels of cleaved caspase 1, another marker for inflammasome activity. Interestingly, we also did not find any change to levels of gastric inflammation, cellular proliferation or apoptosis in our mouse model. We did however find that AIM2 gastric cancer cells overexpressing AIM2 had increased migration in a transwell migration assay with and without AIM2 ligand, as well as in a 3D migration spheroid assay compared to empty vector controls. Conversely, AIM2 knockdown organoids had lower migration potential in a scratch assay. These differences in migration potential correlated with number of filopodia protrusions on the cells, which are important for cell motility. We subsequently found that AIM2 interacts with microtubule binding protein EB1, which is represented by the fluorescence in this proximity ligation assay. Through deletion of EB1 in our AIM2 overexpression system, we showed that EB1 is functionally required for the increased migration driven by AIM2, as shown by the loss of this phenotype in transwell and spheroid assays. This also translated to a decrease in xenograft growth in EB1 knockdown cells. Overall, our investigation revealed the important function for AIM2 in gastric cancer, but interestingly not as the pattern recognition receptor involved in the ASC inflammasome. Our investigation showed that high AIM2 expression in gastric cancer tumours was regulated by STAT3, and also revealed a novel role for AIM2 which was independent of the inflammasome or inflammation, and rather modulated migration via the interaction with EB1. So in summary, our work provides a substantial advancement in our understanding of the role of innate immune pattern recognition receptors in cancer, and more so it now provides the rationale to target AIM2 and potentially other cytosolic DNA sensors in gastric cancer.